Once upon a time, Gavin is visiting his cousins Abigail and Max. He is excited to learn all about plants. Hello, Abigail and Max. Hello. We're so excited to learn all about plants. Our mom and dad took a trip to the plant nursery. The plant nursery? That looks fun. Can I go with you too? Yes. You can come with us. Yay 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 yay. I cannot wait to go learn all about plants. It's going to be plantastic. Well, it looks like we're in. What is a plant nursery? Well, Gavin, the plant nursery has many greenhouses and gardens. Each greenhouse and garden gives the different plants what they need. I say that all plants are living things. Living things, like plants, have different needs to grow and stay alive. Good thinking, Max. We can all get soil. Hmm? What is soil, anyway? Well, many plants need soil. Soil helps the plant grow roots in the ground. All plants need water. Water helps the plant stay healthy and strong. That's an interesting question, Gavin. All plants need sunlight. Sunlight helps the plant make food. All plants need air. Air helps the plant make energy. I knew it. I have a book to write about plants. Well, it's certainly like a journal. Wow, this is our greenhouse. So cool. This is so neat. But why is it so hot in here? Well, it's hot because it stays hot and damp all year round. Our greenhouse is a great place to grow tropical flowers like orchids and hibiscuses. Abigail and Max, we're going to the garden from the large field outside. Wow, look at all the plants. Abigail and Max, I say that the garden gets sun during the day. So, I saw three yellow flowers and a flower bed. Well, taking care of living things like plants is hard work. I will plant the plants in the ground so they can grow. I make sure my plants get sunlight and water. I love learning about the different environments plants grow in. So let's get started with this thing. Yeah, you get it, Gavin. You should do that right now. Don't give up. Just try again when you make a mistake. Okay, Max. I will not make a mistake and give up. I'll try again is what I do. Gavin and his friends are ready to work in the garden. Okay, tweens. I need some help. We need to plant these seeds in the ground right away. Remember, all plants are living things. Most plants start as seeds. We need to plant these seeds so they can grow. Okay, Max. We're gonna get to work. Him. Let's see. Roots grow down from the seed and into the soil. They hold the plant in place. Roots take in water and nutrients from the soil. They drop the seeds in the holes and scoop the soil to cover the seeds. Next up, we need to take care of the stems of these plants. Stems from a plant can get very tall. We need to tie the stems to stakes to keep them from breaking, so a stem grows up from the seed and out of the soil. The stem is strong and holds up the plant. And remember Gavin, be careful not to tie the leaves. Okay, Max. Now let's see what happens when it becomes a sunflower. The seeds have become plants, and the plants have bloomed into sunflowers. And here is a sunflower that is opening. It's a beautiful yellow color. Wow. wow! Plants have many different parts. Each part of a plant has a job to help the plant grow. I can't wait to learn about all the parts of a plant. Abigail and Max, you keep saying that plants are living things. All living things have to eat, like people and animals. How do plants eat? What do plants eat? Well, we can learn that by singing the photosynthesis song from Tree School. Okay then, start the show. Photosynthesis song, full song, action. Photosynthesis, 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 photosynthesis. Plants don't have a mouth like you and me. Photosynthesis. Plants can make their very own food with sunlight, water, and air. So good. That's because all plants are filled with green stuff we call chlorophyll. That's photosynthesis. 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 That's photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis.
That show was spectacular. Let's do it again another time. I don't think we have time to sing again, but we learned all about photosynthesis. So, people need plants to eat and breathe. But if we eat plants, how do more grow? That is a really good question, Gavin Brown. A plant makes more plants. This is the flower of the plant. There are seeds inside the flower. Plants have different parts that help to make seeds that grow new plants. Flowers make pollen in the stamen. Pollen is a sticky substance that smells. Flowers make seeds in the pistil. When pollen is moved from the stamen to the pistil, the seeds will grow. This is called pollination. Flowers come in many different colors, and also have many different smells. Bees and hummingbirds also like the colors and smells of flowers. Hummingbirds use flowers for food. They drink a sweet liquid called nectar from the flower. Hey, this is a watermelon patch. Watermelon plants make small yellow flowers. The flowers will grow watermelons. The bees will pollinate the watermelon. Pollination is important to make new flowers and plants grow. I'm so glad we learned about the life cycle of a plant. It's so fascinating. What do we get to learn next? There are so many great things about plants. We'll learn more when we get back to the greenhouse. Yummy! The drumsticks are awesome. But what about Gavin? He's finishing his drumsticks. Nom 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 nom. Uh. Oh my! That's a big burp, Gavin. <laughs> Silly Gavin. Gavin. Drumsticks are great, but what is the food chain anyway? Well, food is part of the food chain. All food chains start with plants. Animals eat plants and grass to get energy. People can eat plants and meat from animals to get their energy. Fruits grow on trees, bushes and vines. And they are very healthy to eat. Vegetables are also very healthy to eat. Some vegetables grow under the soil and some grow on top. Grains grow from the seeds of some grasses called wheat. Bread, pasta and cakes are made from wheat flour. Farm animals eat wheat too. I've learned a lot about plants and the food chain. I'm glad there are many different kinds of foods to help me stay healthy and strong. Yes, Gavin. We've learned about the parts of a plant, photosynthesis, the life cycle of a plant, and the food chain. This has been so much fun. I can't wait to tell my mom and dad what we learned. And I can't wait to show my mom either. We had a great day learning about plants. Let's take one last look at the greenhouse. There's something growing on the walls of the greenhouse. What is that? That is algae. Algae is a living thing. And it makes its own food. It even puts oxygen back into the air. It likes to grow in wet and light places like the greenhouse. Algae can grow underwater, on land and even on some animals, like a turtle's shell. Algae was one of the first living things that grew like a plant. But it does not have all the parts. Plant parts have changed over time. Their roots change to get more water and nutrients from the soil. Their leaves change to take in more sunlight. The plants kept growing and changing as the areas around them changed. These changes helped the plants to live in more places. Most plants grow on land now. Most plants make seeds so new plants can be made. Some plants make fruits, vegetables or grains. All plants are living things. Each part of the plant is important to help it grow. All plants help animals and people live and breathe. Now, do you want to plant your own garden when you get home? I can't wait to start my own garden and plant some seeds. This has been a fun day with my cousins at the greenhouse. Let's have another adventure soon. See you next time, Gavin. Goodbye, cousins. This was such a wonderful adventure. Cheers.